Okay, let us understand how do you do the addition of algebraic expressions. Okay, now we know for sure that you know whenever we are doing additions, we have to have like stuff. Addition can be done for like things. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have Ram and you have Sham. In scenario one, let's say Ram has three balls or let's say six balls and Sham has two balls. If someone were to ask you what is the total balls that they have, what will you say? You will say 1, 2, 6 for Ram plus 2 for Sham and the total balls is 8. Okay? But if let's say for example Sham did not have any balls but let's say he had a cricket bat, two bats. Okay? And then someone were to ask you what's the total addition that Sham has done? What will you be your answer be? Now you can't add balls with the bat. They have to be like. At best what you say is that he has six balls and two bats. Unlike the first case when you had only the total number of balls with the two of them was eight. Right? The similar rules apply for algebraic addition also right so you can add two algebraic expressions only and only when they are like like expressions so let's say you had to add 2x square and 6x square right in this case you can very easily do the sum of them because the literals in these two cases is x square right so what you do is you put in the literal which is x square as x square and you do a sum of their coefficients which is 2 and 6 so you get 8 x square 2 plus 6 is 8 right but if instead of this we would have a situation like here where you had 2x square plus 8x okay not plus 8x but you were told to do the sum of 2x square and 8x now if you notice the coefficients are different here you have x square here you have x right so basically you can't do a sum of these two so as to get a single literal but you can only indicate that okay the sum of these two should be 2x square plus 8x but you can't add up these two numbers okay now let us take one question on this let's say you are told to add 2x square plus 8y square plus 2xy plus 6x square minus 8y square plus 3y square minus 1xy plus 8 or you can just simply write this as xy now seems to be a very <laughs> lengthy one right but it's simple How do you add up these things so in such cases basically what you do is you put on all the like terms together put all like terms together so which is the first one we have we have 2x square so the coefficient here is 2 but the literal is x square so we'll find out all the ones which are having x square and put them here y square x y okay this is the second one and this has plus sign so we write plus 6 x square do we have any other x square no 
so this becomes 1 addition second 8y square right so this is also gone which is the other y square we have we have minus 8y square plus 3y square so what are we doing we are just putting all the terms which have common literals together then you have 2xy plus 2xy xy is a different stuff so we are just not mixing up with the first two then we have minus x square any other no plus 8 now once you have arranged this then the addition becomes fairly easy so as I told you earlier we saw it here that if you had to add 2x square and 6 square you put in x square as the literal here and add the coefficients of these two similar experiences or exercise we are going to do in this part also so we will write x square here and we will add 2 plus 6 plus all these have y square so we will write y square here what is this 8 plus no no plus here the sign is minus so you will write minus plus what is the next coefficient 3 so we put up coefficients of all these with the respective sign that they have here plus xy 2xy so 2 I put in minus now minus x square represents what minus 1 xy minus 1 plus 8 so 2 plus 6 is 8 x square plus 8 minus 8 0 plus 3 3 y square plus 2 minus 1 1 x y plus 8 and this is your answer right so that's how basically you do the addition for the algebraic expressions